I wanted to wait to do any more videos until I found and tested out a cell phone holder so that I could do these a little bit better. So here's a flip through that I'm going to do for you real quick on what I have been working on since January 1st in my little A6 um, Nanami Cafe Notes uh, journal. So my whole purpose in this journal is to basically make sure that I create something every day. Uh, the beginning of the year wasn't too bad because I actually had things to draw because we were on a trip uh, in our camper. So this part of the year was really pretty easy to keep up with. I not only had the time, but I also had the, um, uh, you know, the inspiration of traveling and things like that. Um, so all the way through the end of January, you'll see all of my travels here. We went through uh, a lot of Florida, we had a great time, we saw the manatee, we visited some friends. Of course I bought all supplies while I was gone. <laughs> and actually had some time to, when we had Wi-Fi to do a little bit of um, uh, classes that I had purchased. Uh, so that's pretty much through the end of that month. Then we started going on to um, we kept going. This is when we, we arrived home and I had some goodies waiting for me so we were happy to be home. Uh, this is just happy to be back in our space. I was doing my regular line dance class. Um, just getting used to being back home, uh, getting together with friends, we made a trip up to see our granddaughter and help her get set up in her new um, apartment. And uh, she's got a new job and she's all excited. She just uh, graduated college. Here is when we got back uh, from that trip. I got sick promptly and had to kind of lay low for a few days. Um, here are some experiments with gouache. I had just gotten into that. Here is another class that I did uh, with Pavy Arola uh, doing um, line work with pens. Uh, more collections. You'll see a lot of watercolor and pen collections in here because it's an obsession. Uh, these are some stamps I got from James Luke Burke and I was playing with those along with more of the drawing with pen and ink. We got a new kitty cat, and here she is. That's Miss Leah, and all the stuff that came with her. Here's dental visits and dancing and more classes, more classwork, um, more supplies. <laughs> uh, this was a page that I did for the Studio Works, Ivy Newport Studio Works. Um, more, uh, we had a, tri a day trip to the beach, which was nice. More we're just playing with art supplies. Some of these things, uh, these stickers are, this is from uh, Courtney at Little Raven Inc. I'm one of her patrons, and these are from Jane Davenport. This, uh, this is one of her um, die cuts. Uh, more dancing, more going out to lunch, another visit to our granddaughter up there for her birthday. Uh, Leah, the, Leah the cat was happy when we got home. Uh, just some experiments. This is uh, something I learned from Allie Brown. Uh, experimenting with that in here. Um, some hydrocolor watercolors that I got. Oh, these are so gorgeous. Alyssa Burke's class, uh, Sketchbook Blooms, uh, it's basically in black and white. Uh, just doodling here, more doodling, more supplies that I just bought, kind of cataloging them. Uh, another trip we made in our camper, and while I was gone, I did some of the lessons from James Luke Burke's um, uh, illustrations class. Here's just some more plopping and playing with watercolors and drawing. And more 
of the same. This was uh, when I was watching Game of Thrones and they had that episode that was so mind-blowing. Uh, I kind of had a hangover after that. More just playing this is with gouache. Um, this was the, you know, May the 4th and Cinco de Mayo. More playing. This was during a trip that we made uh, on our boat, and this was Mermaid. Uh, so I did some mermaids while I was at it. And this is where the, the trip actually started, I believe. So I got inspired by some, um, uh, some uh, driftwood that, that we found on the beach. Uh, we went to Lulu's. I also got inspired by some of the rigs uh, that were out in um, Mobile Bay. More mermaids for Mermaid. And the end of our trip, we were happy to be home, but it was a great trip. Uh, and uh, here's my little happy dance. Got to come ashore and shop and just enjoy. More watercolor plopping and playing, and still more. Uh, this was when I was doing a little bit with the iCAD, the uh, index card a day uh, challenge. Kind of been hopping all over the place. More watercolor ladies. This is a trip we made up to Jackson. We did some sailing. We had a good time. We even won a race. Uh, some of my little um, stationery selection box um, items. Another um, TN from Imperfectly Perfect. She makes some gorgeous um, uh, photo et or I don't know what she, it's like a pyro etching technique she uses on the journals. Here's some pages that aren't quite complete yet because we're getting closer to the current time. And of course, I always, you know, like to play with my new. I, I, get, I have the Art Snacks box, so I like to play with those when they come in. Fourth of July, some playing with some new watercolors. I'm in love with the way Sennelier and Jackson's art uh, watercolors, which are supposedly made by Sennelier. Uh, I'm in love with the way they layer and um, and glaze on top of one another. And then another watercolor supply that came in. Some playing with uh, the weekend long create uh, thing that was a couple of weekends ago. More watercolor supplies. Another little uh, sticker from Courtney um, Diaz. Uh, we had a little little brush with the hurricane. It didn't come here, but it came close enough to delay our Rolling Stones concert for a day, but we still got to go. We spent the night downtown in the quarter, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, and then since then, I've kind of been a little bit lax, trying to catch up now.